This Wednesday, the hilarious Nicole Byer graced LSU with her comedic stand-up. Known for her unapologetic humor and scandalous stories, Nicole has made quite a name for herself in the entertainment industry. From being one of the hosts at last year's VMAs, being a regular on MTV's Girl Code, and even landing her own series, Loosely Exactly Nicole, it's safe to say she is a force to be reckoned with. After Nicole's performance, I had the opportunity to speak with her about a few things. And of course, I had to ask my fellow plus-size diva about fashion. I mean, it's only right. I am your favorite frugal and fabulous fashionista. And it takes so much effort to find clothes that fit. Like, these jeans are from Torrid, so I can only right now wear Torrid jeans. Yeah, you should have wear 21 jeans. They're like, a, they're slightly too small for my body. So like if I lost a couple of pounds, maybe they would work. But then also sometimes they're just a little too much in the hips because I don't have hips. Yeah. I have a belly and I have a butt. They think all plus size women or fat women, whatever you want to call us, are shaped the exactly same, the like same. an hourglass yeah. with like big titties, oh tiny gosh. waist, big butt. And I'm like, I got a big butt, I got a big belly, I got no titties. So I cannot wear dresses from anywhere. We need like sub genres. That's like how they have petite. Yes. Like, yes. They have petite. They have misses. They have junior. They have so many little exactly. levels for all the other women. I don't want to be in a corner of Forever no. 21. <laughs> Every time I walk into Forever 21, I go, where are the fat people clothes? And they go, oh, uh, and I'm like, that's what they are. Right. Show me the corner because exactly. that's where they're at. <laughs> they're downstairs over a bridge under a tunnel in the corner. I did a shoot for a magazine. It was me and I think 10 or 15 other comedians, and they had this room filled with these beautiful pieces, and I was like, oh my God, I'm feeling myself. What do they have for me? And they're like, nothing. What did you bring? And I was like, I brought this Forever 21 dress, and they're like, well, I guess you'll wear that. And I was like, well, ain't that something? They didn't have a single thing for me or the other plus size woman who they featured, and it was a fashion magazine highlighting comedians but all the other girls, so if you look at the spread, all the other girls are wearing these beautiful, expensive pieces, and I'm in the back in a striped Forever 21 dress, and they Photoshopped me thinner. And I was like, this is <laughs> the worst thing. And then the makeup artist did my makeup, and I looked gray. So like being black, being fat, is like so hard to do what I do. It is so hard. Yeah. So I usually come, wig done. I mean, this is a little messy, but I would like do something to mm -hmm. it. I do my makeup. And then I ask, I was like, can you just powder me? And then sometimes they'll be like, oh, well, I think I'll take it off. I'm like, no, yeah. I matched my skin. I'm fine. Yeah. I do not need you with your incomplete kit to make me look like shit. Yes, you know they, they have their one dark color for yep. black people. Yep, <laughs> and we are a hundred different colors. Right. It is embarrassing that more makeup companies don't cater to black women. We like makeup. We right. like doing our faces. Mm -hmm. And we are so many different fucking colors. Representation matters so much, yes. and the older I get, the more I'm like, where did it go? Stand up comedy, is that like your ultimate dream? Is that your ultimate passion? Or, <coughs> um, just, or everything? You're just a brand. I honestly really, I stand up, I only started doing stand up maybe three years ago, mm -hmm. uh, and I've grown and evolved, and it goes like up and like I have real ups and downs. Like, I'm not up right now where I'm very pleased with my material and how people are reacting to it, but I've had shows where like I've bombed and nobody's laughed and I'm like, maybe I'm not funny, I don't know. And I also do improv, which I love. Like I, I'll do improv till I die. And then I think I'll do stand up till I die. Like I love it. And then I love being on a set. I love acting. I love, acting is hard. It's like on top of learning lines, you have to like hit your mark and then you have to like be funny and it's just like everything together. But I do, like I just love performing. Yeah, I think you're great at it. Thank you. All right, y'all, my name's Shannon Stanley, and this is Nicole Byer, the funny, amazing comedian. <laughs> you need to watch her, be on the lookout for her. So like I say, I'm Shannon Stanley with Tiger TV Entertainment. See you next week.